guys, I'm back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be doing something a bit different. As usual, I'm always doing something different. Anyway, so I was painting today. I don't know if you can see the paint. That's my ashy hands. I was painting my hand. I was painting earlier today, you know, on canvases and stuff like that. I was putting the paint away and I found something and I thought, what if I just use this whole thing, this this one item for the whole theme of the photo shoot? And I want something iconic. I want something out the box. And I got this this time. So, and I'm gonna show you guys what that um, th that item is. I don't know if it's for a trigger warning, honestly, because it's like people with trick phobia or whatever it's called. But um, it's tool. Do a little thumbnail. Don't mind my hair. Do not mind my hair, please. We gotta fix that today. Take a closer, take a closer look. You get to see like this is what it looks like. It's like shimmer, but when you layer it, it starts getting thicker and more red. I love that. And we're about to use that for a different for a look today. I'm gonna use it for part of my backdrop. I'm gonna use it for on my face. It's gonna be part of my face. I'm gonna use it in my hair. I'm excited about this one because I be having ideas and I'm like, and I'm like, okay, let me write it down. Let me draw it out. And I just seen this and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I, I be love I, I love having ideas. Anyway, let's get straight to it. So boy, we bring in the sketchbook. Don't mind this, this is paint. <laughs> I should have used the other side. So boom, we bring you with the sketchbook. Cause I'm an artist, y'all didn't know that. Y'all know that now. So I draw I drew out, look at that. Artist life. I'm just playing. This is a rough sketch. This is a rough sketch of like what I have in mind for it. This is gonna be some of it on the sides, like my cheekbones right in here. Um, we're gonna figure out where else to put it on the face. For the hair, I'm thinking about using part of it as a bang. I want this to be so weird and so outside of the box. That's just like, I'm stepping outside of the conventional ideas of what I do for photo shoot looks. So here we go. I'm gonna use it as like a um, thing to hold my hair and I'll have some of hair curly down, okay? And then I may have some pieces. I don't know if y'all can see that. <laughs> then I'm gonna have some pieces kind of hanging down like that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see how good it's gonna look because I'm putting energy, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna take these braids out. I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm gonna put the stuff on it and then we're gonna take the pictures. We're gonna skip the talking and we're just gonna do like a quick, um, what's that word? The little montage, there we go. We're gonna do that. So I just thought about it. As I was taking these braids out, um, what if I were to like color my hair for the fall season? I think that'd be that that'll be the move. But what color would I do? Y'all let me know because I'm thinking gender, but like the all the girls be doing gender, so it's kinda like, do I really wanna do that? Or do I wanna do it like red? I did red a couple years back, but it wasn't in for the fall. But should I do that? It's like I always ask that around September, October. It's like let me know y'all though. Let me know though for real. What color should I do? So I took so I took the braids out finally. I kind of put a lot of oil in, in in them. One thing about my braids, I really have to make sure that I get to the braiding part because when I take them out, sometimes it'd be frizzy and that's no problem, but I just feel like some days, some braid outs I'll be wanting to define look. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna try to do a transition. Okay, here we go. That one you make sense, here we go. Yes. So, and for those who don't know, yes, I have a lock. I have one lock. I was getting so many people talking about it and saying, why you just lock your whole hair when I was in high school? I'm like, I did. I don't want to lock my whole hair. I want one lock. So it's like my measuring, my um, my ruler. So boom, we got the hair out the way and now we're about to go straight to the makeup. I have makeup from my last video. From one of my, like, it did like this Valentine's Day photo shoot. I bought some like bright makeup and foundation and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be using that. This is like the picture of what it looked like and stuff. Oh my God. But I'm gonna make it red this time, okay? Let's get to it. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys. I don't really have a reference photo image of what exactly I want to do but I do know for my eyes I want to have white underlining like how Chillant, Chillant, I forgot, I'm saying her name right, how Chillant does them, does 
does her eyes sometimes and I think it's so cute and I want to try that. I'm gonna be doing that, okay? So... <laughs> So, bear with me because honestly, I'm not done. I'm gonna just add another layer. But y'all might be wondering, Lila, how are you gonna get this mesh, this the red stuff, onto your skin? You know, put a little bit, don't worry about it, it's old, but put a little bit of this. right now i need to hurry up it's a few things i'm gonna change for it i'm gonna just show you guys the finished look because honestly i'm still figuring it out actually i have an idea okay so <laughs> yeah give me a minute i'm gonna just show you okay you guys so this is kind of what i'm going for so i guess it's turned out to be like this floral type thing honestly speaking i don't know what i was going for originally i just want something red and i guess i got what i wanted it's all the power of how you portray yourself in the photo shoot I did the arms as well, I forgot to tell you guys. As well as editing. <laughs> when you edit, right, you be good to go. So we gonna take these pictures. I, I ran out of the um the stuff because I used all of it. I'm just gonna keep it portrait. I'm not gonna do too. I wanted it to be a bit higher, but it's cool because I feel like the pictures are gonna turn out right. Um, We're gonna take these pictures now. And um, I guess, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, so this is like the second time. So I was kind of disappointed. I was kind of disappointed in the photo shoot. I'm still gonna edit the pictures. I only did a few. As I was taking the pictures, I was realizing I don't want my hair like this, for one. And then the other reason was I don't want that stuff on my face. I thought it was gonna be cute with it. But I'm like, nah, maybe not. Maybe I should figure out what else I could do for it. Maybe if I do, then you guys are gonna see a whole different set of pictures, okay? But I'm I'm not gonna put that on my face because I don't like that feeling of, you can see how the glue is, you can actually see it. I don't like how that glue is on my face. It doesn't feel right. It's actually uncomfortable. Nah. So either way, um, I'm gonna close out the video then and there. I'm gonna, I changed my hair, by the way, because I didn't like the way I had my hair in the pictures. But um, I, I'm leaning towards, now I think about it, I'm leaning towards wanting to take a new set of pictures just because I think that's what I might do. Don't mind the streak on the wall. Anyway, <laughs> thank you y'all for watching. Um, I have another photo shoot idea that I think is gonna be successful this time. Like 100% successful. Stay tuned for that, okay? Thank y'all for watching. And I'll um, see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.